MMA Meltdown on the Fight Network continues. Let's uh, do this thing, man. Uh, we're stoked. Uh, in fact, you could say that we're we're blessed uh, right now as we're breaking it down with Max Holloway. He's going to be throwing it down August 23rd in Saskatoon. That's right. I remember a couple of years ago when Tom Wright took over, head of uh, UFC Canada, he, he told me, he said, Gabe, I'm telling you, man, in, in Saskatchewan, you're going crazy for the UFC. There was potential uh, talk of an outdoors card uh, in in, uh, in Regina, where the Rough Riders uh, play, but uh, nevertheless, Saskatoon it is. Uh, they're kicking it Bronx style. It's uh, the Bronx versus Hawaii, so to speak. Charles Oliveira and Max Holloway throwing it down. Max, uh, welcome to the program, man. How you doing? Oh man, I'm doing good, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So, yeah, honestly, uh, Max, uh, did you ever hear of Saskatoon uh, before you were told you're fighting in Saskatoon? <laughs> uh, no, no, I have not. You know. Uh... You know, I was just happy that it was, it was in the middle, you know, Central, so I don't have to fly that far for a fight, but I've never heard of it, and then when I found out of it, I looked it up, and I was happy that it wasn't too far away. Yeah, not too far far. I guess everything's far away, right, from Hawaii, so you, you can't really win. But you know what you should be luckier, man, that it's in August and not in February, man, because it's cold as hell there, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, well, yeah, well, I fought in Colorado. This place kind of reminds me of Denver, Colorado, and... We fought there last February, and that wasn't too nice, too, so I bet over here it gets cold. Yeah, you know what? We're on in Canada, Max, so we got a lot of viewers in Saskatoon, but I'll say Denver is a little cooler in Saskatoon. Weed ain't legal in Saskatoon. <laughs> so <laughs> De Denver, Denver's a check mark right off the top, man. But um, So, hey, how, how does it feel to be a main event and uh, have everyone talking to you right now? Uh, you know, it, 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 it's a huge, huge feeling, man. You know, it's... Uh, my first main event, and it's, it's, it's a big deal to me, you know. It, it, it's a great feeling, you know, that UFC feel confident enough to uh, put me as a main event and then put me somewhere where it's debuting the UFC. So it, it's awesome, you know, and I, I got nothing but uh, positive responses, you know. It's, uh, people is happy for me and uh, people is behind me, and, you know, I feel grateful. You know, I look at, I look at you and I look at uh, Charles, very similar fighters in a sense. Your body, your body types are very similar. But you're both young dudes who sort of got thrown into the pit early against all the top fighters, and you both survived. Did you, when you were watching him, before you knew he was fighting, let's say, you know, months ago, did you ever look at him and think, you know what, I, I, can, I sort of know what this guy's going through. He got thrown in here extremely young, and he fought tough guys, top guys, and he's still, he's still out here battling. Do you see the similarities at all? Uh, you know I wasn't really looking at it before, but then, uh, you know, recently when we got booked, I looked at it that way, you know. Uh, he, he's a young guy, you know, and I'm a young guy. And, you know, we had we had some tough fights, you know. We had some fights where we're not supposed to win and we win, and then we had some fights where where it, it didn't go our way. So, yeah, you know, I think there's a lot of similarities with us. You know, we, we're very uh, tall, tall for the weight class in, in, uh, in, in featherweight. So I think we have a lot of similarities, and, you know, can't wait to just get in there and mix it up with him. You know, he's a submission guy. He's, he's always looking to, to pull a sub if he can. When I look at this fight, I think, you know, your advantage of standing up here, uh, you know, you're, you're in such a freaking zone right now. Where do you see your advantage in this fight? How do you win this fight, in your opinion, Max? Uh, you know, I, I tell everybody this whole time, you know, I'm Max Holloway. I'm going to do what Max Holloway does, and that's no secret. You know, I, I go out there, and I, I, and, I, and I love to strike, you know. But that doesn't make me make me. Uh, I'm not. I'm not dumb in a sense of where I think that I'm gonna go out there and strike. You know, I, I get ready for everything. You know, it's mixed martial arts, and I can't wait. But you know, where I shine, I feel like it's on my feet, and you know, I feel. I feel like I can stand up with the best guys in the division. You know, I got a lot of respect for Cub Swanson, and you out Cub Cub Swanson. You cubbed him, man. Like you went in there, and like I, I just love your your balls to the wall attitude. A lot, and I know it's dangerous because a lot of fighters, it seems easy. Go in there and kick ass. But, you know, from where you were, let's say, you know, eight, nine fights ago to right now, when you look, man, like you're just stalking guys right now. Like your confidence must be at an all time high, Max, because you're just forging forward all the time now. Yeah, you know, uh, it just, you know, it, things have just been going my way. That's all I can say. You know, uh, uh, I've been, I've been getting, getting ready the right way. I've been, training the right way and then my mind is in the right place and you know the outcome was uh is this win streak you know that cup fight was great i think it was a was great to have and 
it, it just I, I it, it was just my night, you know. It's, some nights it's not, some night, some other nights it is, and you know the last couple of fights has been my night, and you know I I just can't wait. I just I just do what I can control, and that's preparing myself, and you know go out there and fight my heart out. How much uh, how much influence did BJ Penn have on your career? As there's an explosion of Hawaiian fighters right now. And I never liked the stereotype, Max, but you're all freaking crazy, man. <laughs> you know, like, you're all crazy. You're all badass, all, like, super, super tough. When I lived in Vegas, man, anytime I had too many drinks and uh, I, was, I was getting lippy in the casino, I'd always keep my mouth shut, man, you know, when there were some Hawaiian dudes <laughs> around. I was like, man, I better, I, better, I better watch my step right now. These guys ain't messing around right now. Man, did you grow up like fighting like other people? Like, how did this? You know, we talked to so many guys. Oh, I was a high school wrestler. You know, I played yeah. football, etc. But you guys in yeah. Hawaii, man, you just seem to be born tough. Where's it come from? Uh, you know, I I think it's just in 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 the warrior blood. You know, if you look back to Hawaii history, you know, it was just the fighters, man. We were fighters. You know, it was hand to hand combat. You know, sometimes there was weapons, but a lot of times it was hand to hand combat. So. So that's that's all it is, you know. It's just that's just just it is, you know. We just I guess it's in our blood. It runs through our veins, and if if it feels good, you know, I'm I'm blessed to be tough, I guess. And it is what it is, you know. It's uh, it's Hawaii guys don't want to take nothing from no one, you know. When I was growing up, I wasn't a fighter. I just I was a baseball player, you know. And then one time I just thought, you know, the where I came from was a lot of people street fighting, a lot of people fighting this and that. So, you know, it was kind of cool. So I thought maybe maybe this would be cool, you know. Maybe I'll, I'll fight and be able to uh, uh, talk to girls and, and impress people, you know. So that's, that's why I got into it, you know. So it is what it is. It's always the girls, isn't it, man? Everyone does everything to get laid, huh? ultimately, Max. <laughs> <laughs> it's always, you know, maybe I can start to talk to girls about this. Well, I tell you what, you know, Canadian fight fans, especially you guys out west, you've been disappointed in the past. There's been cancellations. Maybe the car didn't live up to the expectations that you thought. There's no freaking way, man, that Max Holloway and Charles Oliveira ain't going to throw down and kick some serious ass on August the 23rd. Hey, Max, we wish you the best of luck, man. Thanks a lot for taking the time to be with us. Best of luck in, uh, in camp getting ready for the fight. Uh, th thank you for having me, man. It's just Blessed to be here, and uh, thank you for taking your time and uh, promoting me, man. It's just a uh, blessed feeling to be here. Thank you so much. Hey, you know what? We're stoked to have you. We'd love to do it again anytime, bro. Okay, thank you. There's uh, you know, blessed MMA with us, uh, Max Holloway. Man, this guy's 23, going on 24 years old. He's already fought in the best of the best. I don't say this often, but uh, Holloway, you know, this, this guy's going to have uh, he's going to have some hardware around his waist before it's all said and done. Yeah, uh, this is a you know, blue skies ahead, so to speak. All right, we'll take a quick break. MMA meltdown of the Fight Network continues. <laughs>